Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Lunar Kitten TV. I am super happy to have you here. And looks like Merlin's happy to have you guys here as well. <laughs> he loves to join in on the spell work. Today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. As you can see, I'm not in my dungeon, my bedroom. I'm out in the kitchen, so yay for field trip. <laughs> Uh, the other day we did a protection spell uh, calling for ourselves, our home, our friends, and all that stuff, but I was hoping to do something a little more specific today in mainly being it's going to be a protection spell for your home, and also it's going to make your house smell really good. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to bring you over here. So uh, for the sake of the video, I've already got the water going, <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, I've got the water boiling already so that way you don't have to watch me boil water. I've got my candle lit cuz you know me, I don't like to do any kind of work without a candle burning. And the second you know me with the sage. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and light my sage bundle. I'm going to stick it over the pot here just so that way it can the steam can carry some of that smoke around my area and then smudge off my ingredients. Put it back in the cauldron and let it burn. <laughs> so for what you're gonna need, uh, the spell calls for three sprigs of rosemary. You can definitely use dried, but the fresh smells so much better. Three barks of cinnamon, or three cinnamon barks, my apologies. Doesn't matter the size. <laughs> you can see I have a little small one there. Uh, normally, I use pine needle for this, but since I don't have any, I'm just going to substitute for some eucalyptus. It's just as good for protection whoop, whoop, for the substitute. And you're going to need a bay leaf with a sigil. I'll go ahead and put the link to the sigil below so that way you guys can trace, copy, or whatever. It doesn't have to be a bay leaf, but if it is, you're going to need a pen that can write over the bay leaf and not, you know, destroy your piece of bay leaf. <laughs> Uh, some options, I always keep my amethyst core with me, again, when I'm doing work, you'll see it in other videos, I don't really mention it, but I like to keep it with me. So while the water is going, once it gets to like a boil, you're going to want to start adding your ingredients to it. Uh, I know that this has a bunch of stuff, but you're going to want to take your time with this. Really focus on your intention as you do it one by one. Uh, think about the protection you're calling with everything you drop into your pot. So I'm going a little bit slower today, but it's worth it. Man, and since the water is already going, you can kind of already smell, you know, the rosemary. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Moving on to your cinnamon. Again, sit with it, take your time, set your intention with each ingredient you're putting into your makeshift cauldron on the stove. If you need to pause for a bit or pause me, go ahead and really focus on what you're doing. Man, I can smell the goodness already. It smells so good. Get your face in there. <laughs> it's also good for the pores, all that steam. Mm, all right. Now for the eucalyptus. Um, if you've got the pine, go ahead and stick to the three. But I'm just going to do three tiny little pinches. Man, this smells so good. The house smells amazing already. And that's how you know you're working it, you know. When this when the steam is getting permeating all of your house, you know that the spell is working. I forgot to grab a spoon, so <laughs> excuse me, but well, you're gonna wanna go ahead and mix it up a little bit once you've got that in there. And then you're gonna finish off your mixture with your sigil. Go ahead and focus again. This is probably the most important part of the spell. You know how we seal our spell candles? Well, we're going to seal our steam with this sigil. Go ahead and softly place it right in the middle. I like to kind of hold it in place uh, a little bit in the middle before. Now, I'm going to open up my 
Book of Shadows, and I'm going to go ahead and say the protection blessing that I've got that I, I normally use. Smoke of air, fire of earth, bless and cleanse this home and hearth, drive away all harm and fear, only good may enter here. You can use that one, or negative energy may not stay, I release it and send it on its way, negative energy I banish thee, and is my word, so mode it be. Once I do that, I like to put just a little bit of pinch of the black salt in there and just let it sit. <clears throat> Boom, done, just like emerald. <laughs> I'll make sure and put the spell below, but once you're done with this, you can go ahead and let it sit, turn it down a bit. I like to leave it on low and let it simmer and really get it going through the whole house. And you can leave this on for a while. You can actually uh, put it away and save it to for another day if you want to. You'll only get a couple uses out of it, but for the most part, you've got it. And that's it, y'all. You're basically done. So once you've got that to a rolling boil, like I said, go ahead and turn it down a little bit and let that glorious smell fill up your house. Envision that the light is flowing through you and flowing through the steam, filling up your house and protecting you. Well, that's all for now. If you've got any questions, go ahead and shoot me them in the comments or you can send me a message. And uh, thanks again for coming and I hope you have an awesome week, guys. See you again.